Esther. I'm Rayan. We're Trust Nobody. And this is Trust the Process. Woof. I'm Muna. Woo. 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 How so are you? Good, good, good. Happy to be here. Fire. Mm-hmm. How's your day? How's your morning? It was good. The drive from West Palm was a drive. Yeah. Oh, wait. West Palm. West Palm Beach. <laughs> I didn't know you come from West Palm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no West Palm. I told Rayan. I told How Leanne. long? Yeah. I thought you, you knew. It changes every time. Really? Every time I come from West Palm to Miami, it changes. It's something different. Yeah, it's, it's something different. What was the, how far was it? It was like, like an hour, it said an hour 13. It was definitely like an hour 30. No, nah, you were real. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Thank, Thank you, you for coming. coming. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. That's so I was far. surprised I even made it on time because I was yeah. like, yeah, Miami's a, a whole different world from West Palm. That drive is crazy because there's always construction. Where's, where's West Palm? Yeah, like? that's so true. Like, what's the difference? Because I've never been to West Palm. I don't know if you're Oh, right. really? Yeah, no. I feel like. I feel like it's not super. I'd be I lie if I say it's not super different. It's different in the sense of like, here is very full. Mm-hmm. It's like a lot of the people. Are full. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of people, and like coming here from ninety five too, like mm-hmm. using ninety five. Yeah. There's a lot of construction on the road, so I think it just takes it takes a lot longer. But I love coming to Miami. Yeah. I just don't like driving to come to Miami. When do you come to Miami? Like what for? For events. Okay. They have festivals down here sometimes. Um, film festivals or is it? Yeah, film like ABFF, American Black mm-hmm. Film Festival. Okay. But so when it comes to Miami, I definitely do not like driving back. So not nine times out of ten when I come, I just stay. That's real, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not driving back the same day. It's impossible. I mean, it's not impossible. I'm yeah. being dramatic, but it's a, but it's a drive. It's yeah, a drive. It's a drive. I was just down here. Not Wynwood. And that's another thing. Miami's like different parts. There's like Wynwood. Mm-hmm. And then there's we could take Miami Gardens. Like, yeah. like this yeah. is Miami deep Miami. Miami. Yeah. 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 Really Wynwood deep. is deep Miami. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Very, very. Is there anything like Wynwood in West Palm Beach? No? no. I feel like West Palm is more. I feel like the black people are in Miami. Let's just put it like that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, yeah, that's like, or, real, yeah. or Broward. I feel like we're there in West Palm, yeah. but we don't really have a Wynwood. Mm-hmm. We don't really have like events like this mm. Mm. like performative mm-hmm. so i used to run an event in west palm though for artists oh what event yeah, it, was it was called grip the mic and what did you do i i had i actually started it thinking it was going to be for poets and then it ended up being rappers <laughs> <laughs> same thing it, same was, it was fire though it was fire. Yeah. yeah it was fire <laughs> That I ran so it for like cool. two years because of that, because I would be coming to Miami mm-hmm. and like Fort Lauderdale for these events to yeah. see artists and to see poets like shout out uh, B2 Ra. He used to have Speak Easy. Bless you. Yeah. He used to have Speak what Easy. You know about that? That's my boy. That's my boy. He that's was at my house the other night. <laughs> Brandon, yeah, that's my boy. He actually was a big inspiration to Grip the Mic. That's wow. it's crazy because I, I used to I used to write poetry. I used to spoke more poetry. Yeah. So I used to go to Speakeasy. Um I used to work with this um open mic called Soul Tree in Pimber Pines. Yeah. Um and yeah, Brandon, I used I met him when I was like nineteen. I'm twenty six now. And he was definitely like an influence on like Facts. A lot, a lot no, of he's a real one. Yeah. Speakeasy is dope. I used to go for the same reasons. I used to do spoken word. Oh, that's oh. Yeah, real. I used to go for the spo- oh, right. the same yeah. reasons. I met him at FAU. Okay. Because we both went to FAU. As I was going to FAU, he was leaving FAU. Mm. And then I started going to speak easy. I was really inspired because it was like the vibe. Yeah. The vibe was so fire. So Very I black, wa- too. Yeah. yeah so I, I appreciate that space. Honestly. It was real, real fire. Say that again. What did you study at FAU? I studied English. Well, I studied like three different things, but I ended <laughs> up I ended yeah. up doing English. I ended okay. up going with English. But what yeah. English? Um like you want the real answer? It was definitely out of fear. Both of mm. Yeah, it was All definitely out of fear. Cause I originally went to Palm Beach State College, which is like a local community college in West Palm. I went there to get my AA degree. Yeah. And then after I got my AA degree, I was taking at that school. I was taking acting classes. I was taking my first film class I took there. Mm-hmm. So I was under the impression I was gonna be going to FAU to For do film. film. Mm-hmm. Then when I got there, I took the film program. A semester in, I was like, I. I don't want to do it. Why? I didn't like, it's like cliche, but it didn't feel right. Yeah. Mm. You know, no offense to FAU. It just didn't feel how Palm Beach State had felt. Mm-hmm. Like the excitement that I felt wasn't there. Mm. And then I started getting into my head. I started panicking. I was like, dang, if I get a film degree, that means when I graduate, I better have a job. Mm. <laughs> like, yeah. Type, mama's not going to be happy with that. Right. Degree and and I was the first person in my family to pursue film. So I, nobody talked me out of it. I talked myself mm-hmm. out of it. I was like, okay, I'm going to do... Oh, so your parents didn't discourage you at all? Nah, they didn't... I- if anything, they didn't know at the time. Oh. 
-hmm. they didn't know at the time and it wasn't because of fear it was because i didn't know Mm -hmm. i was definitely like back and forth with myself so i ended up going there and taking film then the next semester i switched to english and then i got in my head about it's like what do you do with english degree so then i did english education Mm. and i did english education i got through all I did like the whole program that last semester. And then they made you do like an entire semester of teaching no pay. Which like, I'm like, bro, what is going on? <laughs> I was on? like, yeah, get me out of here. Right. Yeah. I was like, get me out of here. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. So I went to an advisor, and the advisor was like, you took all the English classes, you might just go back to English, graduate with English degree. So 2019, I graduated with English degree. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Congratulations. Shout out. So. I graduated with English degree, and then January 2020, I was back enrolled at Palm Beach State because I found out they had an actual film program. Wow. So I was right back where I started. Mm-hmm. It was like, it ended up coming right back full circle. Mm-hmm. I took a screenwriting class, and after I took the screenwriting class, I came and I talked to my dad, Allah yeah. and um, he was like, why are you taking screenwriting? Like, yeah. why don't you just do the whole program? Because oh. at the time, I didn't I'm think I was going to be a that. Mm-hmm. I had no intentions ever of being a director, which is why I did English in the first place, because I knew I liked writing. Mm-hmm. So he was like, why don't you just do the whole program? And I was like, you know what? You might be right. So, low. That's so crazy that he yeah, you in that way. He was very, like, much, because I came home panicking that day. I was like, my professor at the time, which is also the co-writer of Hayati, Mm-hmm. Um, he. That's crazy. Your yeah. professor is on your film. Yeah, my former professor. He Lit. was the first screen. He was the first class I took after coming back, mm-hmm. and it's so embarrassing because after that class, I was just filled with so much emotion that I stayed after and I was talking to him because mm-hmm. he was a professor that came out of NYU. Wow. So he graduated from NYU, and I was like, "Dang, I'm in West Palm. There's, am I going to be able to make it in West Palm? Mm-hmm. I don't know any of other filmmakers." Mm-hmm. And I stayed after class with him and. I was just trying to tell him, like, I don't I don't know what to do. And he was saying the same thing my dad said. You know, why don't you just take the whole program? You're going you're gonna to learn. There's no losing it. Mm-hmm. And he was like, you know, start in your own backyard. And that's all I needed to hear. Like, okay, I can make it in my own backyard. I went home, and then I talked to my dad. And he was like, he's very much like, don't compare yourself to anybody. Mm-hmm. Like, he was waiting for the day that I actually chose this route. Because as a kid, mm-hmm. he was he was very supportive. My dad was a poet. He was like a writer. He was a very, he's a storyteller, real creative. Mm-hmm. He loved movies. He's like one of the reasons that I even enjoyed movies. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. What's his name? Abdullah. Abdullah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shout out Abdullah. Yeah, yeah shout out him. like a real man. Yeah. That's so crazy. Yeah. So, did you guys have any like films that you watched in it? Like favorite films? Like oh, yeah. Canon event films? We have like favorite film and favorite actor. Oh. Favorite actor is Denzel. Let's oh, let's go. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Icon. Dads yeah. love Denzel. They love Denzel. Dads love Denzel. It's because he looks shiny. It's because he looks shiny. My brother. Yeah. Literally think they Denzel. Yeah, he was like actually the first movie that I saw when I came to America. Uh, John Q. Yeah. You've seen John, John Q? Q? Yeah, John Q like a BET staple. I, right. I watch that show all the time. You seen John, John Q? Q? No. Yeah. You got to watch John Q. Yeah. Bro, the movies I watched with my dad were like, like a lot of like action, like. Like just like mindless action. Yeah. Like Mad Max. Actually, Mad Max is not mindless. Very philosophical. Mad Max Fury Road <laughs> two coming out. Anyway, sponsor me. Anyways, so like that Shameless Marvel. Plug. No, literally like those Marvel Fast yeah. and Furious. I love those. Like I would definitely say shit. watch John Q. Denzel. Okay. Like if you look at his catalog, it's actually insane. I have like he two had a now that I have to yeah, watch. Yeah, he had like a run of just a movie every year or so. Mm. And John Q was like two thousand one, and then two thousand two, I think was Training Day. Oh, Training Day. I don't think I watched Training Day, but you I haven't seen. Day? No, no, no. I don't think so. I, I don't think so. But I've seen That's American yeah. Gangster. Yeah. It's just fire. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. I love that movie. And, and obviously Malcolm X. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, which he, he killed that role. Yeah. I thought he was Malcolm X. Like, yeah. I, thought was fact, I was a kid watching that. I'm like, oh, this, this is an autobiography. Right. Like, yeah. It's kind of like. He's uh, starring as himself. Yeah, he's starring as himself. That's so funny. Right? You know it's kind of I mean? like Jamie Foxx. Have you seen Ray? Yeah, yeah, no, it's the same. That. Yeah, no, it's the same. It's the same. Just like him. Yeah, the casting yeah. was crazy. The casting yeah. was crazy. You know what casting is crazy in the other way? Amy Winehouse. Did you see that? I don't think I saw it. Oh no. my god, they're doing an Amy Winehouse biopic. Who's playing her? Girl, not Ray. Not anyone that can sing. Oh, it doesn't tell look. You that. No, Sorry, no yo, <laughs> bro. I swear to God, because it was like going like pretty yeah. viral on TikTok. Like she's like singing, and like it's like a scene with her and Biggie. And like they're just like, yo, this sounds like an Amy Winehouse like. Wait, Amy Winehouse and, ba- and Biggie? 
or not Biggie. Oh. I, don't, I don't know who the yeah, fuck I was, like, I was like, <laughs> so sorry. Not even. I was like, I'm going to talk to him. Anyways, um, fucking, I don't know, some someone. And, like, the scene is just, like, she's singing. And, like, it's, like, who, like, who who are you trying to impersonate? Like, yeah. it sounds like she's trying to impersonate her, but, like, as a joke. As a joke. And then there's people that are, like, oh, they should have cast Ray. Like, you know. Ray, who, who are you talking about? Ray, you know that, um, the artist. She's British. Um, that song that's, like. Uh, m- uh, a Did little you? context if you care to listen. Found oh, myself okay, in okay, a shit okay. position. You know her? Nah, I, know oh, I, I know that song. You know that song? You, I think you would know her by her face. But like, okay. they people say that like, th- I mean, her voice does does emulate Amy Winehouse. But a the lot. singing doesn't. Uh, or you're saying uh, Ray does? Ray, 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 Ray like yeah. yeah, yeah, Ray does. But the yeah, no, the girl she just yeah. fucking sounded like she was like. No, yeah. Amy Winehouse impression. Facts. <laughs> yeah, it so it'd bad. be like that though. Sometimes it's more of the aesthetic. Yeah, a lot sure. of people sometimes go for the aesthetic, mm. but you gotta watch John Q. John yeah, yeah, for sure. Which honestly, so we were on on casting, like you know, like how 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 does that mm-hmm. how have you like, I don't know if this you you've done um seven short films prior mm-hmm. to Ayaki, right? Yes. Yeah. Are you involved in the casting for all that? Oh uh, yeah, definitely for sure. So yeah. how is mm-hmm. that you know rejecting someone or even just having people come out to cast? Or do you like know exactly like your friends or any people that you're like? I need you for this role. Yeah. I thought this role was actually for you. Yeah. Mm. I, I've i never worked with a seasoned actor. Everybody that I've worked with was new. Um, <coughs> I kind of like it that way. Mm-hmm. Not saying it's always going to be that way. But when it comes to the casting, um, I've never had a casting call. I've never actually done a casting wow. call. Yeah. Hayati will be the first of okay. a casting oh, okay. call. Wait, so... The people in the teaser are not going to be in the film? No, those people, shout out to them, um, uh-huh. Darn and Damani. Mm. They um, they were there for us to kind of put the vision out because mm. I didn't want to just talk about it. I wanted people to see what we could do, mm. but it was like a little difficult because I had- That's how you have to do things. Yeah, because you know, a lot of people like, they're not reading anymore. Yeah. You got to see it. Mm-hmm. So Darn uh, is a friend of um, Koto. Okay. She's like a childhood friend of his and basically a cousin. And then Damani, we had met through, um, I put up a casting call on, mm-hmm. a casting submission, it wasn't even really like a casting call. And he messaged through then, through there. So cool. On like Instagram? Yeah, it was like cool. Instagram. He um, messaged to the email of the Hattie page. But yeah, I've never had a casting call before. Like I've never done the whole like come in, audition, mm-hmm. usually because of the fact that a lot of the movies were school-based. Mm. And we, you can kind of do it online now. People can send their audition tapes online. Mm, so okay. I've never had the in-person thing. So we were using like backstage and stuff like that. Oh my god! Yeah. <gasps> so it would be like Literally watching. Just unlock the fucking memory, bro. Yeah. Like right backstage, crazy. So people would like audition through there. But for the most part, like I've had great friends. Like mm-hmm. my friends, I've blessed them because I've thrown them into everything. Um, Shut them out so yeah. my first film, I had Kodo, and then my friend Sheldon Ant from that Phil Record. Shout out that Phil Records. Mm-hmm. Uh, they were my first film, mm-hmm. and then I had in my second film I had my best friend's cousin Brian, and then Azelle, and then Forever is here is where I would say that I got actors that I didn't know. Mm-hmm. So Renaco, Julian, Rome, shout out them. How'd you meet them? Backstage. Oh, yeah, sorry. backstage. Those three were definitely backstage, and um, they were all Renaco had already been acting. Rome and Julian, this was their first time acting. Mm-hmm. And they sent their audition tapes, and I kind of was like, yeah, 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 yeah. All across the board, it was That's a yes. That's dope, yeah. I just want to explain real quick to Astro what backstage is. Yeah, because like I'm like. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like, yeah, backstage. I backstage. don't know what that is. Backstage is this, like, platform where you can audition for shows, movies, commercials, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And, like, usually there's, like, I, I didn't know you could put up, like, your own stuff yeah, on there. Yeah, yeah, you like put up, like, an ad. You pay I for, like, an ad, and you put it up, and then ah. people can kind of just submit to the ad. Yeah. yeah. But it's literally a way to, like, just get, like, auditions and stuff like that, yeah. like, not having, like, an agent. So yeah. That's and fire. it's, like, modeling, cool. too. People do it for, like, modeling, mm-hmm. okay. commercials. Yeah. That's what you do it for? For modeling? Um, no. Actually, I wanted to be an actor when I was really little. What? Oh, I had yeah, no I've auditioned for, like, a couple things. But yeah. I was like, eh, let me. This was before but music? This like, was before you decided um, on music? I mean, I, w- I was always doing music. Like, it was kind of in the same stage where I was, like, doing covers on YouTube. And mm. I would, like, audition. I was just, yeah. like, what grade was this? Like, eighth grade, ninth grade? Yeah. Um, but, yeah. I remember, so, oh, my God. It was so many I didn't even know backstage was a thing until, like, that year. Oh, really? What like, year was that? Like, 20. Were we, we were in 2024. 
Mm-hmm. When did I graduate? I don't 2019? Even... No, that was my English degree. Oh, that's from 2020. Film? Oh, from film. I think 2021. It might have been 2021. Mm-hmm. I want to say. Was it during COVID or after or COVID? It was 2022. No, it was 2022. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was 2022 when I kind of really just started figuring out backstage. But yeah, yeah those actors were new. That's but cool. we did Zoned, was like the music video slash short film. And then we just did Trip. And those two just had like a bunch of friends. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's been friends. This one is the one that I feel like with Hayati, it's going to be like real thorough. Mm-hmm. I'm still throwing all my friends in there. Like yeah. Fire. Yeah, yeah. They're all going to be in there. Like we have we have so much room for extras and we have oh, that's like so cool. barista roles and mm-hmm. like. Let them know. Yeah, no, my friends, they're I'm definitely. Interested. And oh, like the one thing that I'm really excited about for Hayati is it's going to be all Palm Beach, South Florida, Miami Broward based soundtrack. <gasps> We're that's so cool. Wow. Yeah. Wow, yeah, that's, that's dope. I'm like definitely, that. I'm that not outsourcing, so I'm not outsourcing any music, yeah. I'm not even allowing, the only person is in Sanfa, you know, uh, <laughs> I'll make that <laughs> sacrifice, yeah. but yeah, but no, it's definitely, it's definitely like a put on, mm-hmm. yeah. because I feel like I wouldn't be doing Hayati without the community. Mm-hmm. So let's, let's do this, because we're talking a lot about Hayati right now, yeah. we haven't really dove into like what, what it, it is, is at yeah. all, mm-hmm. so I just want to ask you, like, even just the name, Hayati. like, how'd you, like, com- like, like think of that name and then what um you know how you are using the meaning of Haiti to like um you know just create this film. Yeah. I don't know if that was the name that you and the you and your co writer threw up together. I actually it's just you. no, I just threw the name on there. So he shout out to Carlos Miller. Mm. Um he's a co writer on it. He's given me creative freedom all across the board. Cool. Um we started writing it in twenty twenty. The script is like four years in the making. And when it first started, it's diff- It's a little different from what it is now, but the, the message was kind of the same. Like, it was an arranged marriage, mm-hmm. but, like, an agreed arranged marriage for black love. Um, mm. So so they're not Sudanese, the main characters? No, I wish. Wow. You I know, wish. I assume I wish. so, because it's called Hayati so and then arranged I marriage. I yeah. was like, ah. It's not Sudanese. What are they, African-American? African-American. And I love well, that. Yeah. But <laughs> it's like, I so wish I, I could. I wanted it to be Sudanese, but I wanted them to be, like, Americanized Sudanese. Yeah, why not? But we don't. Yeah. Ha- it's hard to, like, cast it. It would. It wouldn't be real. It wouldn't be true. It wouldn't. It wouldn't. It wouldn't happen at this point. Like, I feel like I have to do this to open that door. Because I feel like it's hard enough just getting actors. Yeah, I don't even know Sudanese people that mm. would that would do this. W- that would do it. Rand's the first step. <laughs> we we got to be thirty. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. speak. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We will speak. Yeah. but I also yeah. don't know if I want to box it in just yet to Sudanese because then I yeah. feel like I have to go in and make those adjustments, yes. and I don't think I'm I'm equipped to honor Sudanese Why like not? the culture just yet. You know, I feel you because every time I go to a wedding, I'm like, I didn't even know we had this tradition. Yeah. Yet. What are you talking about? Yeah, I feel like. Why are you throwing nuts at my face, bro? Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I feel like it's 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 like I want to jump into that world, but I want to do it intentionally. Yeah, like I want to be able to, cause I, me being Sudanese, like, yeah, I I have the creative, the creativity to do it, mm-hmm. creative control, I guess. But I just don't think now. I think I want to drop nuggets in Hayati, like little things like, you yeah. know, Arabic music. I do want to mm-hmm. throw Arabic music in there. Okay. Um, I do want to play with certain instruments when it is the soundtrack that, mm-hmm. like, come from Sudan. Yeah. But I also want it to be, like, I want it to be true. And I feel like right now I'm just not at that point. Yeah. I don't think I have – shout out my crew and my team, but I don't think we have – the right tools just yet mm-hmm. but um to answer your question hayati means my life in arabic um <laughs> <laughs> it means my life in arabic it just came to me one day for the four years that we were working on the script there was no name it was just sitting there untitled it was actually called covid story <laughs> because uh. we were writing it during during covid um, covid love story and i, I we all remember one <laughs> <laughs> I hold it real dear to me because I actually started the script like two months after my dad died. Oh, yeah. So um, my former professor, Carlos, he was the screenwriting teacher and he called, he had like a Zoom meeting one day with all the classmates and he was like, you know, we've been really doing good in the screenwriting class. At that point, I was just taking that class only and March came and, you know, everything was shut down mm-hmm. and we were back online at this point. We were two weeks turned into two years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we were online from March until basically August. And um, he was really happy with the class. And he was like, you know, you guys, we should 
we shouldn't stop here like screenwriting if you guys want to work on a script together like let's do it outside of That's class fire. yeah he was really That's into really it cool. so it was i really cool because yeah. during COVID, a lot of stuff just stopped yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just started making music people started writing right people, people just like people had time like and people did have time yeah people had I time s- i spent my COVID making more music right i said my COVID, my quarantine yeah <laughs> like and we didn't even really have a quarantine music. Yeah, like not like right. other states where yeah, they're like yeah. shut down yeah. for real. I definitely was outside. Yeah, yeah. You know, I shouldn't like, have been. Yeah. I didn't even realize that we didn't have a quarantine. Like I thought this was normal until yeah. I like would go to DC and they're like shut down. Yeah, I'm like, what? Do, what do you mean? Where's? What do you yeah. mean? Target's closed. We like yeah. shut down the last couple. I feel like it was like in April the mm-hmm. shutdown really. It's like when it started ramping mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he called in like May. I want to say it was like a, my dad passed away in April, so. I took like a week off of school and then I went right back because it was like a class a week. So basically I took that week and then the next week I mm-hmm. logged back in mm-hmm. and um, that's when he told us like, you know, we should all do a script or whatever. And I reached out immediately because I knew I needed something to do. Yeah. I was going to be home and mm-hmm. I was like, dang, this is what I, I need to. I w- there was like a fire under me because I knew my dad really wanted it. Mm-hmm. Like he really wanted this for me. Yeah. So it made it want it for myself more. And I feel like that's what paved it. So he ended up calling me like as soon as the class ended, it was like May semester was over. He called and he was like, you ready to write? And I was like, yeah, yeah. who else is? Do- I was like, who else is doing it? And he was like, oh, no, it's just me and you. Oh, um, he no was one like, else in the class. Like, I, I never asked. I really mm. I don't know. Like if they just didn't want to. I didn't know if he just wanted to keep it like that. But we we just kind of matter. To be honest. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it happened for a reason. Right. So then for we the started writing reason. and it's been four years in the making and the script has just changed over time, over mm-hmm. and over and it developed, and then one day, you know, he was the one that said kind of what you said, like, do you want to throw religion in there? Do you mm-hmm. want to throw everything in there? And at that point, I was like, mm, uh, not yet. You yeah. know, it felt, this was my first script. Like, I wrote my script before I wrote anything. Mm. So I was like, I don't want yeah. to ruin it just yet, mm-hmm. and ruin it in the sense of, like, I don't want to put too much pressure mm-hmm. on having a research and yeah. do all of that when and I can't. And you know what? I feel yeah. like, sorry, I don't mean to cut you off, but no, okay. I think the fact that you're making it, like, open to an audience that's not limited by yeah. language and cultural, like, understanding. Definitely going to have Arabic subtitles, though. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. That's a, that's a, that's a for sure, because I want to be able to share it with family. Yeah, like, but that's to be are you just going to automate it? Somebody's doing it. Someone. I can't, I can't trust myself. We hitting fiber. I'm about to say the same thing. No shit, no bro. Fiber. Yeah, facts. Them facts, podcasts facts. gonna fuck yeah. me up. I can't do it. Right. I, I need it. I need it to be. I don't need it's anybody being like she went to America, forgot where she was from. No, uh, for can't real. write. They're gonna be like yeah. an American. And, and if, the, if you leave speak. it up to me, it's gonna take ten years. Yeah. To get those letters right. So. No. No real. So yeah, we ended up telling him one day I wanted to do Hayati, and he was like, yeah. Mm-hmm. But even when it, me directing it, he was like, I hope you know you directing it, not I'm directing it. Mm. It's no co-directing. He mm. wants me to direct it. He's been a supporter since the beginning. It's mm-hmm. like he's become my brother, like my older brother, basically. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he's he's let cool. me have like straight freedom on it, mm-hmm. changes. He definitely get on me if I mess up, though. Like if there's a part, yeah. he's like, this don't make no sense. I need you to yeah. explain it to me. But it, it's been a great space. Has I, there like, been like a situation like that where he's like, wh- what is this? Like, yeah. And like, how does um, that like conversation work? It's more so to chime in, cause like, yeah. yeah, even just like I want to ask about co-writing, cause you know, yeah, me and Ray have to write songs together. It All gets tough. And I'm not gonna lie, not really. Not there really. aren't. There's you never guys like really don't argue. No, I feel about well, different stuff. No, <laughs> not that. You're about different stuff. With writing, it's yeah. more like, like we don't argue really about writing, like in terms of like what we're writing, the words. Yeah. We'll be like, we like oh, we're stuck on something. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're pretty transparent about like, mm-hmm. like. There's a song we have called Vessel. I haven't written a, I was a write a verse for that months ago, and I haven't written a verse yeah. for that. And Rand's not on my ass about it. But like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm, not, I, I'm not. Here. I am on your ass. I say you're not. Oh, okay. okay yeah, okay. but like, but <laughs> like, you know, we like each other. Um, we respect each other as artists, and yeah. we like each other's like work enough to like. Whenever she writes something, like we were recording yesterday. No, day before yesterday. Oh yeah, day before yesterday. Day before yesterday, and she wrote like her chorus. Like, yeah, I like. I was like, lay that down. Like, yeah. hurry up, lay that yeah. down. Like, you feel me? Like, we don't. We don't we, don't we're, we were trying to right figure now. out like how to like end his verse, and we were like on that last line. We we're both like huddled over his phone, like Grace, Grave. Like yeah. We're yeah. like rhyme, rhyme, yeah, yeah. rhyme. What are rhyme words? Rhyme zone. Words? <laughs> shout out rhyme Yo, zone. Yo, shout out yeah. rhyme zone. When I used to write poetry, that's definitely where I used to go. That's crazy. Bro, yeah. he. Th- I think you were the one that told me like that's cheating. 
It's cheating? It's not, like, like it's not cheating. MW was saying something like that. He don't use it, which I'm like, okay. Oh, man. yes, okay, yes, sir. It was, you're, it was. You're it. so, you're so I was like, it. okay, since Mr. <laughs> Dictionary. No, G. Because you but, could really just go but, up and he's going to search up rhymes with this. Yeah. Like, I just, but, all you need, I just need, I need the last word. Rhymes but you got to make the whole sentence before it. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, exactly. You make the whole but sentence for me, it's a, it's a last yeah. resort. If I'm, like, really stuck, I'm like, let me go to rhymes. I try to, I try to, like, push my brain as much yeah. as possible, but yeah. ain't nothing wrong with help. But it's 2024. Yeah. Use all your assets. You right, use. right. Um, I mean, people are using chat GBT now for everything. No, really. So. But they go back on that, yeah. Have, is yeah. there times where you guys have been like, she's kind of like, script? what is this? And you're like, you know exactly <laughs> what this is, bruh. And we keep it just like this. So like. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos is a lot older than me. Carlos mm-hmm. is like, my dog can't like almost 40 at this point. <laughs> okay. So I'm moved. <laughs> <laughs> no dead ass but he so it's it's, okay. there's definitely a different respect probably because of how I met him my patience is like it's a lot it's more respect it's more respect, more respect. Yeah. I'm more patient just because of the time of my life that he came in it's a lot there's a lot of empathy mm-hmm. um, there's a lot of sensitivity because I'm like damn like I wouldn't be here yeah. I wouldn't be here he's kind of mm. like a mentor right Right. he yeah. became a mentor and without even kind of realizing it mm-hmm. so sometimes he'll say stuff and it'll definitely be like like, I know what I'm writing, yeah. but I have to listen. One thing I've learned from him is I'll listen before I talk because I'm a defensive person. Mm-hmm. I've learned that over the years. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely defensive. Like, mm-hmm. what you mean this don't make sense? What you mean? What like, you it's mean? right there. I'm, I'm like that too. Yeah. But with him, it's like I've learned, like, if he tells me something, it's like he'll say, like, this scene doesn't make sense. Like, this scene doesn't make sense in the in the story mm. and I'll let him explain how it doesn't make sense mm-hmm. and before I get in my defensive bag I do this thing now where I like I filter through I'm like what is he actually trying to say okay. mm. as opposed to what he's how saying how do you decipher that so I, I let me see if I can think of an example so okay there's like a scene in Hayati where um we find out something about the main character, mm-hmm. right? We find out something about the main character, but the audience finds out with the... So there's Malik, the, the main guy, and, the and there's Amani. Mm-hmm. So there's a secret that Malik has, mm-hmm. and we find out with Amani, okay. as opposed to like... Malik sharing himself, he doesn't right? Have to be cheating. Nah, there's no cheating, no trauma, <laughs> thing, no. nothing in this movie. <laughs> and his point was like, was like w- his point was kind of like it landed flat mm. with the audience. Like we should know from the beginning, mm. and then once it comes out later, it's like a reminder. Like mm. we shouldn't know that it's this big secret. Hmm. So let's say you have like a secret. We should have seen the red flag. Yeah, in the yeah, right? kind of. Like there should have been hints and warnings. Yeah, that. like because the secret's not even that crazy. It's just like something. It's something that you wouldn't even think is a big deal. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Until you find out, like, oh shit, he didn't tell her this. Yeah. Mm. And he was saying like it maybe lands flat when she finds out because we're at that point finding out with her as opposed to like going through the motions and realizing later how deep of a s- how deep of like it'll affect it her. I won't say betrayal, yeah. but. Yeah. It's definitely not a betrayal. It's just like a damn. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel how this looks. Yeah. It's like a one of those how this looks. So his whole point was, like, be intentional. Or like, I'll use another example. When I did 3600, um, he was, like, make sure you know when you reveal your main character to the audience. Like, make it mm-hmm. intentional. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, why can't we just open the door and show the main character? And he was oh like, Lord. because... It sets the stage, you know? It sets yeah. the stage on how you reveal it. Do you watch any anime? No. no. You know what? Anime does a really good job with at doing revealing? that. But with revealing, like, important, like, powerful characters. Yeah. Like, when anime is, like, I feel like they go through and explain, I'm sorry, weaving out. When they go through and explain, like, power structures and stuff like yeah. that, the entrance of, like, the main villain or, like, the initial, like, you know meeting of like the villain and the main character and like the protagonist will be like ah oh shit bro this nigga gonna die like, yeah. uh, <laughs> it's intentional yeah mm-hmm. and i felt like maybe throughout the beginning i wasn't real intentional mm. like on certain things mm-hmm. i was just writing just to write it was my first feature so yeah. it'll be moments like that or maybe it'll be like um i didn't want a sex scene in the movie i didn't want a Allah sex Akbar. scene yeah, I I my parents 
I didn't want a sex scene in the movie. Um, I didn't really want physical intimacy like mm-hmm. on that on the screen. Um, I didn't care for it. Mm-hmm. I don't watch movies for it. Yeah, I'd be like, damn, skip. Sometimes no, like that's real. Yeah. It depends, so embarrassing. and I feel like, like it it's, it's like. It's thrown out there. It's yeah. like it don't mean anything, it's, especially it's, in Hollywood. It's definitely slutted out. Um, and like, this is something else that's totally different. But I'm a fan of like um, wrestling, like mm-hmm. WWE. I watch it a lot. Back in the day. That's they, real interesting. Yeah. I don't um, think I've ever heard anybody say like that they watch WWE now. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's you so far. Have you seen Iron Claw? Yeah, I love yeah. Iron Claw. That was a great movie. Was, yeah. I, have, I have four brothers. So, oh, wow. So when I tell you like that, you watched it? Yeah. When I tell you like. I don't cry like that. Like yeah, that that, that shit damn near made me cry. I was so like, it didn't get you to cry. I I, I no, I, de- I teared up. <laughs> I like like yeah. Like, I was gonna say you eyes got watery. Yeah. You went, me. yeah, yeah. I had to suck that. That's <laughs> yeah. You saw it. <laughs> it came back in. I did not. He no. told yeah. me to watch it, but no, I that just that movie was time. was crazy. But the yeah. thing I want to say is that back in, they had, they have a um back in the, they have this list. era called the attitude era. And that day they used to like do like the craziest shit. People used to bleed all the time. Mm. Nowadays they make it intentional. They say if someone's bleeding, it's because that moment was impactful. It's because they're trying. To, they're, we're trying to tell a story. Yeah. So we're not gonna have everybody like face covered in blood. It's like to say like, okay, whoever made this person bleed, this is a bad person. This is yeah. a strong person. Mm. Yeah. And that's I feel like sex scenes should be. Yeah. Unless you want to really portray like how intimate this, this couple right. is, you know, like it has that. to be like well crafted. Exactly. Yeah. I feel like I so that was a thing. Like I was like I don't want a sex scene. Mm-hmm. Um, there was like certain points in the movie where he was like, you know, maybe you can have a drink. I was like, I don't want drinking in the mm-hmm. movie. Um, don't really care for smoking in the movie. It mm-hmm. was just because I. I right, Muna, come on now. <laughs> no, I just I you're so like, like clean. It, the, the no, I'm is, not though, clean. That's but the is thing, it like, though. Does it like, represent your characters? It doesn't represent the characters. It didn't make sense for the characters. Okay, so yeah. I felt like like they're having an arrangement. When you see Forever's you here, true. You when know, you see Forever's here, they, he's smoking. He has like he smokes in the movie. Okay, mm. yeah. Uh, it's a cigarette, but it's still like <laughs> it's it, it made the character. The character it felt right for this. It was like it didn't feel like it. But the sex scene was like the one that I was like, I don't think I'm gonna do it. So that was the thing. He was okay. He was like. At first, he was like, why? Like, what's your reasoning for that? Mm-hmm. And I was like, I didn't really have a reason. Mm-hmm. I was just like, I just I just mm. don't want it. Yeah. I just don't want it. So he I was like, is that, I was about to say, is that not a good enough reason? Well, his thing was like, well, if you're going to X this out, you better make sure the movie explores everything else. Mm-hmm. Like, they better be, like, connected to where you don't mm-hmm. even feel it. Because I grew up watching, like, Bollywood movies. Mm-hmm. It takes, like five years for them to even hold hands like <laughs> that's that yeah. real love yeah. but like yeah. in the movie you don't notice it mm-hmm. the chemistry so there like that's the, the thing i feel like with like a lot of Arabi movies yeah. bollywood south asian movies because the idea and this is like a cultural thing too yeah. because you don't you're not meeting your husband or like the person you're gonna get married to you're not like if you're going to school with them and stuff like that you're not talking to them like you're not yeah. like you guys don't definitely have changed now though it's definitely yeah, changed definitely now changed yeah now. but like especially with, like, you know, cross-culturalization, but, like, even, like, I, I went to an Islamic school, and, like, the, those communities, they're, like, those those kids are marrying each other, and it's, like, but did you guys have a developed friendship, yeah. like, before you guys even entered this, yeah. like, put my like, like, right, right. Like, yeah. girl, you fucking, anyways. It's mostly different. Anyways, it's different. Mostly anyways. It's, like, when I think of, like, Hayati, it's definitely, like, a me here and me what I know. Mm. Like, it's just kind of the combination, because I don't, I don't really feel like, I'm this or that. Like, I'm mm-hmm. not fully engulfed into everything that, you know, my culture does mm-hmm. in the sense of, like, relationships mm-hmm. and uh, I guess just things that they yeah. see as normal. But I'm also not fully into here. I feel like I'm just mixed. Mm-hmm. So with that, it was like the sex scene. I just knew I didn't want it. I didn't feel like I could even do it. I didn't feel like I was even at a point to direct that. And then I was mm-hmm. like, why do I need to? Yeah. So he he was like, okay, if this is what you want to do, you better stand on it. Period. Like, you better stand on it. You better make sure that these characters feel full yeah. Feel like yeah they feel full they yeah. feel in love and it's definitely a challenge because even now i'm still rewriting mm-hmm. wow still, yeah wow. still rewriting still going back and adding those moments well when i look at the teaser i just f- i f- yeah i feel like they hit on the nail off the yeah. teaser alone yeah, yeah. i Thank feel like you. i'm like they they love each other yeah <laughs> you feel me so right. i don't know Hopefully. I, think you, I think you did it what so. is your like um i mean do you have like a target like goal when you want to start shooting, like when you want to start casting, all yeah. that. Yeah. So what do you think? the goal, um, 
Oh, it's and also, like, congratulations on the Kickstarter. Oh, thank you, thank you. Like, yeah, shout out to everybody. 10,000. Yeah. That's actually so amazing. Before like, alhamdulillah. I, I hate to do this. Day before let's, I eat, let's too. Like, let's get into that real quick. Yeah. The Kickstarter? Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. And the then power of community. The, the casting, because okay. that was amazing. Mm-hmm. You know yeah, I mean? shout out South Florida. Yeah. Shout out South Florida. Yeah. I have never felt so loved and so seen. Um, Like, West Palm is, like, amazing. I have such a great support system out there. When I was, like, when I touched on earlier, I had the underground grip the mic um we started out with like 20 people coming in the audience and by the second year it was a packed house like for months at that point the only thing that shut us down was covid um but then is when i started to realize oh like wow people people really rock with me when i was doing spoken word i had like people would always show up for me and like you know in your you get in your head like Mm -hmm. do they do they really like like like, they like me that's crazy Mm -hmm. so with film um i feel like people have just kind of seen the journey mm-hmm. i've been open about it and then with the kickstarter that's like probably the the biggest thing i've ever done because mm-hmm. you're asking people in this economy to give you money for something for something that they don't even mm-hmm. they haven't well, I mean, seen but that's why you made the teaser right? yeah exactly i made the teaser but i feel like a lot of people donated just off the strength mm-hmm. like you don't realize how many people you meet along the way. Mm-hmm. Like we live in a world where I feel like a lot of people think like people don't really want to see you win. You'd be surprised how many people really want to see you win. We we wow. we had a similar situation yeah. where we had to be we had to throw our egos aside and ask people for the for votes. Help. Yeah. 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 We I remember. Did. We yeah. asked we asked people. Um and I was surprised. And by some people did not want to see us win. No, yeah. for sure. Maybe. Some people were definitely Because it's different when you're asking people personally, like, hey, can you vote for me? Yeah, with you know that's what I, mean? I had to do with the Kickstarter. You're I had to, too? I had to yeah. DM everybody personally yeah. Yeah. and like message people personally. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Yeah. It was and it's it's. I'm Congratulations on that too. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Yeah. yeah. And it's crazy because I remember even just having someone, um, because people were sending us screenshots when they did it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember asking someone and the next response was a screenshot. So I didn't. Yeah. I didn't even know. Yeah. It was a screenshot of them voting and I, I said thank you so much. I had yeah. to come back to them weeks later because I thought about it randomly at the end of the morning. I yeah. said, yo. Like you really did this. I yeah. Again, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah. So, yeah. and that's money. You 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 asked yes. for money. Yeah. We asked for something like way Which way is, easier. But, but you like even though we asked for money, I feel because I remember when you sent me the voting mm-hmm. thing. That shit was so hard. It's hard because it's like you're asking people for their time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And a lot of people like they just scroll past things. Yeah. You know. So when you DM people personally and they open it, mm-hmm. it's like a respect thing. Like it's like especially yeah. as other artists, you kind of got to get into that mentality like. They're just like me. Like, yeah. they're trying to make it. Literally. And we could do it. Like, we could actually do it. But we have to do it together. Yeah, so definitely. Support and community is yeah, for so sure. important. It's extremely yeah. important. That Kickstarter, sh- like, it was insane because I, there was so many times we were supposed to launch the Kickstarter. Oh, and things would before. go wrong. Yeah, oh, things uh-huh. would go, like, April, not April, it was, like, March. When did we launch? March 17th? Yeah, it was, like, March 17th we launched. And... We're supposed to launch like a few weeks before that, and a few weeks before that, that that teaser was like redone because the first one that we did didn't turn out the way that we wanted. Mm. And I was like, you know, I have a great team, my producers and my AD and my cinematographer, they're the ones that have kind of been on it. Mm-hmm. When we first did the teaser, it was like, I had to tell them, I was like, I, I'm i not really happy with it. Like, I'm not, I don't really feel like this is it. And I'm I'm a feelings person. Like, mm-hmm. I'm sensitive as fuck. Same. So, <laughs> if I don't feel it, I'm like, I can't energy. do it. My stomach starts to hurt. Mm-hmm. I'm like, it's like, <laughs> I start to get like, I start to get uncomfortable physically, mm-hmm. like, out of my body. Mm-hmm. So, I was like, I can't. And mind you, at this point, we're like a week away from launching. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they were like, so what are you going to do? Yeah. And I was like. Not we can't. I can't post this and and not like this. Yeah, I can't post this and and mm. promise you guys that I'm gonna promote it because mm. mm. I can't. I'm not gonna be happy. Of course, yeah. you know. Yeah. So we ended up doing the other teaser came out great. It was like a one day shoot. It went so smooth. That's crazy. One day. We, no. Yeah, it went so smooth. It was meant to be. Oh my gosh, we ended up getting a bakery. Uh, Mo and Ma, shout out to them in Delray. They let us use it, but. The after the teaser, it was like a week before launch. I was just chilling. And that's how I knew I, it was going to be good. Because mm-hmm. I wasn't stressed out like yeah. the week before. I'm stressed out all the time. So <laughs> it was like the week <laughs> before. I w- yeah, that's I'm always good. stressed. So when it finally launched and that first day when we hit 2K, like the oh, kicks. first day. Yeah, the first real day. Real quick, real quick. Yeah. Can you look at the camera and tell them what the goal was and how much time you had to like so reach we that had goal? <laughs> we had 30 days to reach $10,000. 
Um, and how much do you make? We made over 11000 Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Shout out to everybody in South Florida. That's so amazing. And outside of South Florida, whoever donated, shout mm-hmm. out to you. Um, but yeah, the first day we hit 2K and... I was definitely like, I had to go to my mom. I was like, you know, she had to send in the family group chat. Right. I was like, in the WhatsApp. She was, she was <laughs> like, Hato, she was like, what? I was like, I was because I was with her that morning, um, and I told her we launched. And by the end of the day, I went to her room and I was like, we're at 2K, and she was like, what? Wow. I was like, yeah. And then it was just kind of up from there, mm-hmm. and we had like a little moment where it was flat. Mm-hmm. People weren't donating during that time. Was and that like near the middle? Or? Yeah, it was like in the middle. And I have my um, one of my other professors, uh, Michael Seminario from Palm Beach State College. He's been like also the one that was like pushing us to get it right and stuff. Get it right in the sense of like believing in ourselves. Mm-hmm. And he was telling us, he warned us. He was like, you know, in the middle, it's going to look a little crazy. It's going to look like you might not make it. And that's mm-hmm. where you got to ramp up again. Yeah. And bring the energy back. That's literally what happened. Like yeah. it yeah. just ended up coming right back. And same thing what you were saying like reaching out to people mm-hmm. at first i was like oh mm. asking people for money is crazy in this economy like yeah. we're all broke yeah. mm-hmm. you know and we're all stressed yeah. so it. it was like crazy um shout out to cat brady too she works at the equipment room in palm beach state college she was the one that was like you need to message people personally mm-hmm. and and sorry sh- they're yeah. letting you use all the equipment right yeah, we That's use super cool. They're amazing for that. Like, um, Seminario is the one that does the initiative. Mm-hmm. He basically has it to where when you graduate, I don't even know if you have to graduate to do it, or you. Th- I think you do because it's a feature is gonna take so much of your time. After you graduate, you can submit your feature film, and then if it gets chosen, you basically get access to all the equipment. You just gotta provide your own insurance. A feature film is what? Mm. A feature film is like a movie. I think that by definition, it's more than thirty minutes. Okay. Yeah, okay. more than 30 minutes, but a feature film, the way that I perceive it, is a movie you'll see in theaters. Like, How it's long do you want Hayati to be like a theater film? For sure. I want a theater release. Um, oh. I don't want streaming. Uh, the goal is for distribution. Ooh. Yeah, yeah the, the goal yeah. is to this distribute is so it to theaters. Regardless, though, it's going to be premiered down here. Like mm-hmm. The people that made it happen are the, the first to see it. Like mm-hmm. that's I'm not budging on that distribution or not. You got to invite us. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's not even a... Okay. Yeah, 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 it's definitely going to be a thing for everybody down here. Like, South Florida has to come first when because I couldn't do it without them. It's, like, not – it's not even possible. Yeah. So DMing people personally was definitely what had people – had me, like, oh, people care. I had people that I went to school with and I talked to once. Mm-hmm. And they were like, yeah, we've been watching the journey. We're here for it. Aw. And, yeah, so I think no, it was, like, so we had cute. a week left until the campaign ended and we had already reached our goal. That's no, amazing. I dude, I literally remember, and it was the day of the eclipse, and Eid was the next day, and I the was best like, Eid gift it ever. was the best, best Eid bro, gift because ever. Because <laughs> I remember, you know, and that was the day that I was trying to go see with and Julia yeah. with my cousins, and I'm like, bro, this is actually so perfect because I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna talk to the director. Yeah, I'll be like, listen, there's this film, shout this out to you, filmmaker, bro, and I was telling yeah. my mom shout about crazy it because he reposted it. He did. Yeah, he reposted wow. it. The wow. director of dude, Goodbye Julia. Fire. Yeah, shout wow. out to him, dude. Yeah, I like I DM'd him personally, and I was just like, "Hey, I'm Sudanese. Ah. I had to play my card. It's like I'm Sudanese." And he was like, dude, "Sure." That's fire. Yeah, he was dope. It was dope. Bro, in five years, you're collaborating. Inshallah. How, inshallah. how was your Ramadan? It was great. This was the best Ramadan that I've ever had. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I got into the swing of things. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Um, coconut water changed my life this time. Yes. Lemon water changed my life. Really? Not gonna lie. I used to get like, it's never the hunger. It was always the thirst mm-hmm. that used to kill and me. The cotton mouth. Yeah. So the thirst bad. used to kill me. But um, when I was in New York, I was like hella dehydrated and I was drinking coconut water because it was the first thing I saw. And I don't know why. I knew right then and there. I was like, this is what I'm using for Ramadan. Yeah. This is my, this is, this is my first time like observing. Yeah. And it was very, definitely like. Oh, you fasted this year? I did, yeah. The whole month? Of course, mm-hmm. yeah. Wow, I mashallah. Uh, mm-hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was so proud of him. Yeah. yeah. At first, he was like, I'm going to see how I feel after two what weeks. Made you, like, what, what made you try? It's probably rare. Yeah? Real. I mean, I'll, I've wanted to try before. Yeah. I had recently had a coworker who was um, Muslim who told me they were doing it. They were fasting. I didn't know they were Muslim, and I was like, I told them like I would do it next year. Yeah. They ended up quitting, but I still was like, I want to do it. I told this person I'd do it. Yeah. And this other like influences. I would say the main influence was Ram. Um, to be honest. What 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 about her? Like, oh, she's Muslim. Oh, it was just she's like Muslim. A, you just wanted to like. I guess I'm wondering like okay, why. 
Yeah, like, like yeah. Because you don't want me to feel left out. Yeah. Like, I mean, a, a lot of things. Man. I was yeah. just talking to her today about, like, how, like, I, you know, we're business partners. We're, like, you know, it's my homie. Like, you know, it's yeah. a lot of stuff where I just consider. Like, your family at this friends. point. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's like, you know, respect. something I definitely want to do with her. But also, like, uh, with other people, too. My girlfriend fasted as well. Shout out to I, her. Yeah, she fasted producer, as well. Fasted Our producer well. fasted. That's dope. Mm-hmm. I have a brother who I met, like, in person two years ago. Yeah. For our first time meeting in person. But we've That's talked love, though. That's like how yeah. you really know your family and friends. Yeah. Or like friends that become family or just yeah. like friends you meet along the way that they really care about you. Because in America, like, that's really what I want. Like, I want yeah. when I have like Ramadan iftars at my house to yeah. be able to invite like all my friends. So that was the thing. Like, yeah. my, my brother, like, he's from Seattle. He came down here. And yeah. he, stayed, he stayed with me for the first week of Ramadan or second week. I think the second week. And it was nice because it was like we broke fast together. We had sorority yeah. together. And we would have iftar together. And yeah. then the community of knowing that there was one night where we went out, my brother, Ryan, um, her friend Seema was also Muslim. Mm-hmm. Um, my girlfriend and we all had iftar together. We went to that's beautiful. Yeah. It was th- it was such. I think it's the community of it for me yeah. that made it so like good. like you're in this together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I always I keep telling people the same phrase that you know, um, to me personally, fasting by choice is a, a blessing. Fast. Yeah. We know what's happening in Palestine. We know what's happening in the Congo. We know what's happening in Sudan. Yeah. yeah. So you know these people who can't eat, they yeah. have they they literally just yeah. cannot eat. Yeah, you know, and, you and know, they crazy. chose to fast That's as well. Yeah, yeah. so right. I'm like, you know, if, if I was to, you know, people could be asking me like, how do you do it? Mm-hmm. It says nothing. It's a mind thing compared to what other people are yeah. going through. Yeah, it's a mind thing. You know what I mean? Sure. It is. Yeah, and mm-hmm. I feel like, but that's that's amazing. Like that's Thanks so much. you have great yeah. people around you. No, alhamdulillah. Yeah. Like honestly, because even ra- last Ramadan, like, like I I didn't really have like I, I was living in Miami and like the. Like, I had some Muslim friends, but, like, it, I didn't feel like I was alone. Connected. I was living in a studio yeah. apartment. Yeah, like, it was depressing. Like, it was yeah. so bad. Like, this year, I feel like even, especially, too, because I live with, like, my best friend, Seema, shout out. Mm-hmm. Um, and she cooks amazing food. She taught yeah. me, like, how to cook. Like, it was a lot easier, and especially when we're going out, like, one thing that, like, really gets, I already have so many allergies. Like, yeah. my food options are so limited. limited. And you know Arabi food, bro, they're, like, they gonna put every single yeah, allergen everything. they can. Yeah. Right? Like, <laughs> first of all, why are we eating food with peanut butter? Like, please, that's please crazy. Please be so for real right now. Like, and then they gonna throw the, the cheese in there. No. Yeah, like and then Thamia is cooked in the oil. Oh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. They're like, are you even Sudanese for real? Yeah. Like, I'm like, that's girl. crazy. Cause what can you eat, girl? If you um, have like, I'm uh, thinking about like the, the dishes. Okay. Pop tarts. <laughs> Pop tarts. <laughs> No, I've been cooking Arabic food. I cooked, yeah. um, I'm trying to think, have I made you guys Arabic food before? Bamiya. Oh, I love Bamiya so about much. Kisra. Oh, I love Kisra. Yeah. I just, I don't know how to make them. Yeah, I don't. I yeah. actually can't cook. Really? <laughs> yeah. You know I, what, bro? I'm learning, though. Yeah. I'm it's learning. It's, yeah. Not that, it's not that hard. Baking yeah. is hard as fuck. But, um, yeah, just like them being, you know, like yeah. fasting with me, because like, we'll be doing, like, we, we would be fasting during the podcast. Like, I don't know if y'all could, hopefully you guys couldn't tell. Yeah, how dry our mouths. We were, were right. We were fasting. We were for two episodes. Yeah, yeah. and like you know, just knowing somebody's in there with you, exactly, yeah. and like it makes it. And it we makes would still have like a whole day ahead of us. We're like, yeah, we have a shoot, and yeah. like even at the shoot, we're like, all right, y'all, time to wrap it up. Like sun's right. going down, it's time to go. Oh yeah, the fall. Remember yeah, fall, fall for me? me? Yeah, that's that was a day, bro. That yeah. day we had the podcast. I w- first of all, I was at space the night before with my friend for her birthday like first of all fit on my lawn anyways i was uh, friend friend duties please um like and then like we were fast we had the podcast in the morning yeah went home chilled for a little bit but like had a video shoot yeah then we had a video shoot and then i got my period right before the video shoot so i'm like oh wow subhanallah that that you get to eat in their faces no (laughs) no because tell me how i ate a bite of a cookie we had to leave my water Yo. ran out before I got to the before I got to the location. I was That's like, "That's crazy." Ah. It's always those I'm days cooking. when you're fasting the whole day and, and then right before 5:30 it's p.m. Off. Bro, and it's like it can't even be six o'clock. Like yeah. it really be like five. You gotta pretend you don't, you don't like see it at that point. <laughs> 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 so yeah, so, but what about you? Like your friends were they fasting with you? Like, I don't know if your, all your friends are like Muslim or not. No, I actually don't have um, a lot of Muslim friends. In 
in West, West Palm. Palm. I'm trying to think. Is there, like, a community of, like, Arabs there, like, Sudanese at least? There's or? definitely a Sudanese community. Mm-hmm. The ages are different. Like, mm-hmm. the they're, like, younger. Oh, they're like okay. They're, like, kids. Um, Koto fasted with me. This is his second Ramadan fasting with me. Good. Shout out to him. And mm-hmm. then, yeah, he's he's dope for that because... Last year, he was definitely struggling. Yeah. But this year, it was like he got on a wave. He got mm-hmm. on a wave. He really enjoyed it. We're making up our days now. Yeah. So we just oh fasted good. last Wednesday. Nice. So he mm-hmm. made it He made it a lot easier. But then I had like um, last year, I didn't do it this year, but last year, it was like I had uh, an Eid, like mm-hmm. a gift exchange with my best friend. Oh, that's so cute. But like, it's ri- like one thing I want to do is that. Like, I want to be able to have a community with yeah. me. And you just got to, you know, get lucky with Literally. friends that are actually like, I care about you just as much as you care about this. We here. Yeah, 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 facts. We're Let's here. do you it. Next year. Yeah. Yeah. Next year, bro. Like, for real. Like, that means so much to me because I'm like, damn, this is the shit that matters for mm-hmm. real. It's true. It really is like the only thing that matters is like friends and community. But Ramadan mm-hmm. this year was great. Shout out coconut water. Yeah. It was just difficult with teaching. All that talking. Mm. Okay, yeah, it's crazy. Teaching, what's it like? Like I love the grade, kids. Right? If you ever hear me say my kids, it's not my actual kids, it's my <laughs> students. <laughs> Said I do not have no children. Yeah, but those are my kids. You're like, a teacher, teacher. I'm a teacher, teacher. Yeah. English I love or like that's all your class. subjects. Oh, okay, all, all subjects. Love. It's fourth yeah. grade. Um, I'm not really a fan of just teaching one subject. No, I'm just not yeah. a fan of the 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 what I have to teach. Oh. If you catch my drift, like I don't really like the teaching. Sanctimonious? Like, teachers are don't get the same freedom that they used to get when I was in school. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. There's really You're no limited to what you have to teach. I don't so know. I mean, because I know. I'm so limited. Because oh, wow. yeah. what's his face? Oh, okay. Or I, I'm, 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 I'm so limited. I get it now. Yeah, yeah, I'm so limited. Can you um, not speak on it? Is that a thing? No, I can speak on it. Oh, it's okay, just I was going to say. It's, it's like, it's just limited in the sense of, like, everything's so fast-paced. Everything's, like, testing, testing, testing. Oh. When I was in school, it was not like that. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Specifically, when I was their age... Like, my teachers used to make everything fun. fun. Yeah, fourth grade yeah, was Yeah, fourth grade, grade third grade, like, it was amazing. I had In third grade, I had Miss Robinson and Miss Casperson. They were, like, Miss Robinson was my a blind teacher. Oh, yes. She was I my teacher that was blind. Post. Yeah, shout out to mm-hmm. her. Uh, she, like, it was a different time. Ta- it was a different time then. You could bring, like, we used to have, um, like, a potluck. Like, mm-hmm. everybody bring their own food from home. Mm-hmm. You can't do that now. Um, field trips. There was a lot of love. There was a lot of love. There was I, so I much think love. now it's definitely like on, like, uh, man, we need to like get these kids to memorize these things. Memorize? Not even they're teach. not even memorizing it for real. Yeah. yeah they're trying to be on TikTok. <laughs> they're not even memorizing <laughs> it Yo, for real. Yo, what's it like with their attention spans? Like, crazy, because my kids don't pull out their phone in class. Oh. I don't even have that issue. That's um, good. That means they love yeah, me. Good. Yeah, no, they love me. They definitely do. Like, mm-hmm. um, I taught for a little bit last year. I taught for like the last three months of the school year. That's when I decided I was going to teach. Mm-hmm. It was, like, for two reasons. One, I couldn't get myself to get out of bed for anything else. Mm-hmm. Like, kids are going to make me feel guilty if I miss a day yes, of work. Because yeah. I Cause then they're like, where were you yesterday? Exactly. Like, yeah. I think about that. But <laughs> I also needed stability. Yeah. I had just graduated film school, and I was like, I need stability. I need mm-hmm. – um, I got into, like, a terrible car wreck. Oh. I got – my car got totaled. Like, mm-hmm. alhamdulillah, I came out of it. But I got hit by a drunk driver, and my car got completely Jesus. totaled. Yeah. it got. T- I was leaving school. And it got totaled. Was and this like at night or like in the yeah, morning? Yeah, it was at night. I was leaving school. I was leaving campus. I was still in film school at the time. I left school and this truck just came and just, uh, it was like a, s- a pickup truck. No, no, no. It was like a, like an SUV mm. type of vibe. Mm-hmm. Um, he hit me, knocked my car over three lanes, and hit my side only. Is Gelebet? No. Mm. Oh, did it? No, nah, thank God. Okay, yeah, it hit me. It, it hit my over? side only. So, like, I was in the, I was in the driver's seat and my entire chair got pushed over like to the passenger seat yeah and it hit the window everything it was crazy i definitely was like damn yeah but i walked out like sore um i got like a ct scan or whatever so Mm -hmm. that car was paid off it was like i had like a i I bought that car like five thousand dollars cash oh okay and when the car got hit it was it was like immediately i knew it was total because if you saw the car you were like yeah there's you didn't even think somebody survived that yeah, wow. So I walked out of it. Alhamdulillah, everything was good, but I didn't have a car. Mm-hmm. And that's when it started hitting me, like, I need stability. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I got to get a job. Like, mm-hmm. I got to – at that point, I was babysitting. I was just, like mm-hmm. – I was focused on film. You mm-hmm. know, and I, I, I stay at home. I still live at home with my mom. So it was – I had the flexibility to do that, you know. So when I got my car, it was, like, that's when the shift happened. I was, like, I need – 
to get a job because yeah. I'm not even going to be able to get a used car again. Mm-hmm. The market was so bad. Yeah. The market was terrible. I couldn't have, I like, I got $8,000 for the car that I paid five for, so I knew that mm-hmm. it wasn't going to work. So yeah. I started teaching mm-hmm. for three months, and then I still teach, but this is my last year. Yeah. yeah. It's your last Whoa. Year. Yeah, it's my last year. So what you doing? Film. Full time. Full time. Full time, yeah. Yes. Director. Yeah, director. It's like working out with Hayati. Cause yeah, the timeline, it's, it won't it even is. make sense. So even even Hayat, this is your first like, f- you're directing fully. Your director debut, right? This is my feature film director debut. Everything feature else film. I've directed too. Okay, yeah, feature film all the film seven short debut. films I've directed. Okay, okay, for sure, for sure. Speaking so of short films, ahead, I yeah. mean, how short is this film? <laughs> so we can. I sent it. over the one I sent was five minutes. Five, five minutes. minutes? Yeah. Okay, we can watch that like yeah. one forty-five. One forty-five. Okay. Talk right. about it for twenty minutes. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. I'm enjoying this conversation. It's yeah, the actual film is like maybe fifteen or twenty, but I sent five. Okay, Cute. bet. Cute. Um, and wait, I would just want to say, could you just like let everyone in the camera know like where they can find your films if like they want to watch and stuff? Where they can find my films? I don't even know if I have many out. Um, mm. my YouTube is Eyes of a Moon E Y E S O F A moon and then my instagram is probably where you'll get most of the updates which is son of africa with two a's at the end cool, cool. can you watch it at 135 i know for us it's you know, like two. Oh uh, yeah you're right? so right mm-hmm. so, so in like three minutes in like f- yeah like three minutes right okay well tell us a little bit about this um what you're gonna show us yeah. forever's here forever's here i shot it was my last short film of the semester of 2022 i want to say mm-hmm. it was the last short film it was a four-day shoot it was where i had like actors that i didn't know um, this was like a coming to terms with death film. Like it was my goodbye, mm-hmm. I guess, to film school and to like everything that I kind of went through in film school. Mm-hmm. So it was, it was, it means a lot to me. It probably means out of all the movies that I've made, this probably means the most to me. Mm-hmm. Um, wow. it explores death in a different way. So the premise of it without like giving too much away is, um, you live in a world where people celebrate your dying. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. You that's know that low keys I feel like that's something Drake would say. <laughs> 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 yeah. Not to make it like that, but that's really interesting. Yeah. It's I learned a lot on this film. I feel like this is where I really felt like I could be a director. Yeah. I really was like, This is yeah, you meant for this. Mm. Like, yeah. So I'd love to see you on set, like directing. No, yeah. For real. I don't even know what that encompasses. Hayati. Okay. Hayati will be shot all in West Palm. We can come. Boca. We can come watch. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. 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 sure? excited. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I'll hold the boom mic. Crying. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely, I'll be there. I know. Especially because I told you, like, it's going to be a lot of extras. Okay. For oh, this. yes. Yeah. I'll be an extra. Yeah, yeah me too. I would, that would be so to. fun. Yeah. yeah. I suck as an actor, but if I, if I could just stand there, like. No, we're going to need a lot of people. Okay, yeah. but. We have a whole wedding scene. All right. Yeah. It is. <laughs> 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 yeah. But yeah, Forever's Here um, mm-hmm. means means a lot to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's on I YouTube? I feel like that's where I made peace with death. Wow. Yeah. Do you think like oh no it's not on YouTube it's, it's not on still YouTube. in editing this oh, is it's still this is editing. also the part that takes took me the longest wow. to figure out how to make it come through because it was like it's not perfect but it's mm-hmm. the one that I tried to make come through the mm-hmm. way that I envisioned it I feel like the actors did a lot of the work in that wow you'll see in mm-hmm. the scenes like they they put in but their whole heart sometimes it's like you know a movie really doesn't call for like crazy like it's about yeah. the chemistry and like the dialogue and stuff the last scene like that whole last scene of the movie is probably like yeah, like yeah. that. That was like you. They did what they needed to do. Well, I'm ready. I'm ready. To yeah, I'm ready to watch it. Whenever you are, I'm excited. Let's do it. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Yo, D, where you at, man? I'm at the party. Everybody's here looking for you. Call me back.
You'll uh, find you here. <laughs> but, uh, the fucking heart was just like, yeah. yeah. I thought, like, they were gonna, I don't know why, I guess because I saw the blue play back, so I yeah. thought it was, like, longer. Yeah, it's, like, because I, I was telling you yesterday, when you messaged, I went to editing, and I guess I left some parts in Oh, it. so you just, <laughs> yeah, so I have to cut it. <laughs> Dude, that was crazy. I was so back and forth on what part to show you guys, because right after that is when, like, everything happens. Okay. Mm. I was like, dang. Yeah. Yeah. No, you got me. Yeah. Can so you what'd send you think? me the full thing? I can. I can definitely yes. send you guys the full yeah. thing. Yeah. I, 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 thought it was, I thought it was pretty fire. Yeah. I thought it was amazing, honestly. Nice. The I actor, th- the actor, I don't know. Um, Julian. Julian. The main one. Yeah. No, yeah. he killed that shit. Yeah. He this killed that shit. This was his first shit. acting role. That surprised me. Yeah. And then also just the lighting, the shots. Yeah. Like yes. some of the, some, like when he first sat down and the, the, um, I don't know, like the In shadows the cast over his face and then. Mm. That's my, oh, no, those no, no, no. two are my favorite shots in the whole thing. Bro, I love I that yeah. shot. And when he's laying back. Even smoking. in the car. Even mm-hmm. in the car, too. Yeah. With the light on his face. Like, yeah. that, shit, that shit was dope. I honestly need to see the whole thing, though. Like, yeah. I, yeah, I, I feel like, too. yeah, like, I got blue balls right now. No, <laughs> and I think, too, because, like, we turned off the lights and then we came back and yeah. I'm like. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, no, I was going to say, though, the thing that got me first, you were talking about the sound, like, the sound was amazing. I had to yeah. crisp it. I had yeah. to do so much. Crisp. Yeah. yeah. It you know, it's crisp. crazy. A lot of that was done last night. Wow. No like the the bouncing of the balls, yeah. I had to like grab from YouTube. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And, and put it in sync. And put it in wow. sync. And it was crazy because yeah. I had to cut. Mm. You know, when that pressure hits, you get mm. to work. Yeah. But when there's no pressure. Right, what about yeah. the heartbeat? No, I feel you. YouTube. Wow. Yeah, no copyright though. I didn't feel anything. <laughs> yeah. And you always type the heartbeat. Yeah, okay. Heartbeats no are like. Copyright heartbeat sound effects. Because finding music. It's like so hard. That was actually Kodo's um, instrumental. Oh, really? So I took that, and we're going to redo it without the waves. Because mm-hmm. I don't know if you peeped. There was like waves. Yes. Yeah, I did, I did, no, I, I was like, that was good. You like the waves? Because you were talking about the AC and the jet. Ju- yeah. You know why, too? Like, I think you were talking about how this is about death. Yeah. Coming to terms with death. Yeah. Death and the ocean are very, like, uh, synonymous. mutually the synonymous yeah. for me. Yeah. Because, like, when you die, you return back to the earth, and the ocean yeah. is, like. To dust. Yeah, literally, yeah. like in the yeah. Lahirajarun, like you know, you just like go back into nature and like. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Oh my god, now we got to cry right now. No, <laughs> stop! <laughs> it's so emotional. You make me so emotional. Oh my god, stop! Yeah. I'm getting my period, guys. Stop. Cry. Uh, no, it but. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just it's just so cool to see, like you know, you have an idea, in your fucking head, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then it's there visually. Yeah. This was the movie that has, out of all the movies I've ever done, translated exactly, if not better. Mm-hmm. Um, and everything went wrong on that set the first, like, the on day before. The yeah. Oh. Oh, I yeah. lost all my locations. Oh, It wasn't supposed wow. to be in a basketball court. Um, what was it supposed to be? I don't even, I think it was supposed to be a park. Oh, wow. It was supposed to be by the water. Mm-hmm. And then I ended up. Why couldn't you do it? Did we it just, rain? Or? We just didn't get, like, yeah, it started raining that mm-hmm. first day. It started raining. And then. The day we started it, we were like, if it rains today, we can't really do, do continuity tomorrow. if we do it here today, do it here tomorrow. I had to change everything like right before. Damn. And it ended up working out so I much was better. I about yeah. to say, like, how do you feel about that? I, I, I feel like we got to be so flexible with the lighting. Mm. Yes. Um, because the actual shot, the movie starts with them in the basketball court, but it's daytime. Okay. It's just a regular basketball court. Yeah. But then it ends with. The juxtaposition. Yeah. Then it ends with them back in that. That's why he says, knew I'd find you here. Yeah. That's oh, like their, that's, shit. Okay. That's Dude. like their place. Yeah. yeah. You know, and like the whole like basketball theme in it. Really yeah. Really like reminds me like of Coach High School Carter. Musical. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well with the suit, <laughs> yeah. No, like, yeah. I feel like also like basketball is such a release for like, like black men. Like for sure, just for sure. Like, like I, it just ended up working out. It like the lighting, that entire last scene, 
where they're just in the basketball because it ends with them in the basketball court. It's like chef's kiss. And uh, it's mm-hmm. like shout out to the crew. Um, I couldn't have done it without them. I wouldn't want to do it without them. Mm-hmm. That's the one thing, like, that's very, you know, like, I'm a director, but I'm a director with my crew. Let's get some names, like, in the camera. You I had Javon you. Scott on the camera. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Javon Scott, he lives in, like, Broward. He's, like, he's cool. not into film anymore. Wait. We don't really work uh, together anymore. He's, like, on a new wave. He's very, like, with the church now. Shout oh, out really? to him. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah cool. he's on a new wave. He's doing it, but shout out to him for this. Um, mm-hmm. My AD, assistant director, is the same director I've had the whole run. Christy, she's the director, assistant director on um, Hayati. Cool. Uh, the rest of the crew is basically everybody that's going to be on Hayati. Mm. It was really just the cinematographer. He just, like, you know, has a new path. Now okay. you'll come back but to part two, basically. Yeah, I mean, we've worked together so much, and there's going to be some newbies on there because yeah. with the student initiative, they want you to have students. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So that they could get credit and yeah, stuff, that's too. Actually really so fire. we're going to have some newbies, but yeah. And it gives them some experience, On too, lighting, like we had Noe. Shout out to her. That's my girl. Cool. Yeah, we're all pretty still still tight still tight how'd groups. you all meet school school yeah that's awesome school that so cool um not the screenwriting class right but just like other no classes. i actually met none of them in that screenwriting class mm. everybody else i met like that first semester when everything opened back up mm. but yeah cool. you know going back on the this the you have an original idea which was outside basketball court by the water yeah and then it gets changed up it so got you changed, have yeah. to do you're like okay i have to do it here yeah but it works out fine yeah that kind of comes to show you right like yeah it's okay for the shit to change yeah you, you have know? to be okay with it no, yeah. yeah you can sit there and cry about it but yeah, it's like yeah. it's gonna change and like it's gonna change yeah. when i'm like when i'm directing it's very like i panic yeah every other time but when i'm directing i panic i do not panic mm. like it's just not in me to panic i'll panic the day before the mm. day after leading up to it but as mm. soon as it's like all right, we on set. It's a whole Make different. It it's a whole different ball game because I feel like everybody's yeah. looking at me, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's like it really starts at the top. If the director is losing his mind, yeah, everybody's gonna lose their mind. Yeah, yeah the and power like comes from the top. Yeah, the power comes the from the top. But I feel like too. I'm so close with my crew on set. Like, there's a lot of directors that'll be like, you know, we got to get it done no matter what. Like, I'm not that person. Mm-hmm. It's very much like, do we all agree? Mm-hmm. Like, we good. We everybody's good. Like, sound. We had to stop take so many times because. My sound people were getting tired. It's like, mm. I'm not about to kill you. Yeah. You're doing this for free. So I'm very yeah. much like, Real. when things change, we like, okay, like, how are we going to change this? How are we going to come up with this? And everybody yeah. put in the work. The lights, like, everybody had a light that they had to man, mm. sound. Everybody tried their best. Mm-hmm. And it was like, it, it worked out so well. That is so yeah, crazy. it worked out so well. Yeah. I feel like we, I, I get what you're yeah. talking about with, like, you know, just adapting to change and stuff. Because a lot of things we do, like, we don't we don't get permits to shoot at the locations we shoot at. We're yeah. we just go in there. And we're bro, yeah. we're uh, not gonna lie. We're trespassing. We're going to abandoned buildings. Like we're trying yeah. to like yeah. we're getting anything we can get, yeah, you yeah. know. And like our friends, like bro, shout out our friends because they really put up with us. Like yeah. and they really tolerate yeah, you us. You need that. Yeah, you need yeah, that because I can't do it alone. No, for you real. Can't do yeah, it alone. Really I don't can't. care how good of a director you are. You ain't shit without yeah. your crew. Yeah. Like you can't yeah. be and like even us. Like I'll edit our videos, but like I can't film myself and like right. be behind the camera yeah. at the right. same time. You know. Even like our, our first music video together was such. It was like a really bigger scale because we had we went to the band location. Mm-hmm. We were trespassing. and We invited over like, like 40 30, people. 40 people there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's like, how do we manage? these like people some of these kids to like yeah. calm the fuck down yeah but then Everybody also like set up to shoot and then manage the lighting right. and then you, got, like, you know cameras. and then people are disagreeing on like yeah. what shots like to we get. need to get and yeah. i'm like those are the things you're gonna look back on though you're gonna be like yeah. damn when everything we is smooth sailing you're gonna be like, it's kind of boring no i look <laughs> back i look no worry I look, I look i mean i look back at it now a year uh, from a year ago i'm like I can't believe we did that shit. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like a constant yeah. reminder. Perfectly. You could do it. Yeah. yeah. You could do it. And you can do yeah. it again and you yeah. can do it again. Because, yeah, yeah I always think to myself, let's just, let's, let's just do it. And yeah. if it, you know, fucks up, fucks up. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Pending on, pending on like, how big of a fuck up it can be. Right. There, right. But, like, if we can take the risk and the worst thing that can happen is maybe you're a no or you guys should probably leave. Right. I'll take mm-hmm. it. I'll eat that. Because then you tried. Yeah, yeah we yeah. tried. At least you tried. tried it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So that's cool. How did, how did y'all get the basketball court? Did y'all that's have access school. to that? 
Oh, that's the school. Oh, that's the school was our backup. Yeah, Palm Beach State College. Resources, man. Yeah, Mm -hmm. Yeah. always. It was so much better. Like I, I definitely cried. That was the set I cried on. I was like, damn, because it was my last short film. Oh, in school. And like it was so nice. We had like a cake. It was like everybody came and gave a speech. It was like our goodbye. It was like the High School Musical ending. Yeah. When the series ends. When they all did that. Oh my god. But it was great. I was like, if I could, I knowing the whole time. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. Because I feel like that's that's what defined it for me. You wrote this yourself. This whole thing. That's dope. I wrote that myself. That's yeah. So cool. This is the only one that has like a co-writer, Hayati. Hayati is the only thing that has a co-writer. Oh, um, yeah. Zoned, and uh, Trip, trip with Kodo, because those are his music videos. Mm. Okay. Okay. Their yeah. music videos slash short films. Those were those were co-written. Yeah. yeah. So Forever is here. It was like ten drafts. What's the? Pr- oh, sorry. Yeah, I was it was like ten drafts. Question. Yeah. I was gonna say, what's the process like? Like, uh, how's it different going from music video to? I was doing that the same shit. Yeah. 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 So I um, was against doing music videos. Oh, really? At first, just because I didn't. They're not artistic. That's what I thought. Mm. Yes. I th- I'm I w- glad you changed your mind. Yeah, yeah, it's what I thought because I didn't want to just do music. Mm-hmm. Like when me and Kodo, when I came down, when we came up with the idea for Zoned, I was like, I don't want to do just a music video. I want to do a short film. And he was like, I want to do a music video. So I was like, okay, well. We got to meet in the middle. Combination. Yeah, so it was like if you ever saw Zone, it's, it goes into cuts. It's a story, and then there's music in between. And oh we my made God. it. We made it about like a whole, uh, like so a funny. group of movers that suck at their job. Oh, that's so <laughs> funny. Yeah, it was great. That also was like I did that a month before mm-hmm. Forever's Here. Oh, and that that's was my fun. first out of school project. That's far. Mm-hmm. I, f- I feel like a lot of music videos, even like rap, like now, yeah, they try to move their music videos into like cinema it's yeah. cinema yeah. You know, and I, Kodak I, I, the Kodak video that we that watched last night <laughs> <laughs> what song was Skrilla. it Skrilla. Skrilla. Oh, yeah. that's, nah, that's that shit cinema. was cinema I was heavily <laughs> invested in the plot yeah, yeah I know why <laughs> <laughs> but, um, it was so good you should watch it, it <laughs> yeah it's like a lot of like you know, Travis Gambino or, or for sure, or definitely. Yes, two thousand five. Know, Rocky. So yeah. Even Future and Drake. Uh, yeah. Oh, the life's good. Yeah, that was a good video. I like, liked it. There. It's enjoyable. It's there. Yeah. So that yeah. was like my thing. I was like, if we're gonna do this, like I'm not putting my touch on this. I'm not putting yeah. my name to this if we don't do it. And it ended up being it was a great time. It was a great time. Yeah. And then we just shot part two of it. Oh, La- I can't even say just like a year ago. Oh, it's okay. in editing now. Yeah, you're funny. Yeah, okay. And that one is more on the short film. The music doesn't come in until the end. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. okay. Yeah. But it's so different. So is that, yeah, is that so something different. you would do with other people? Like, you for know, sure. Like, well, I trust nobody. Yeah. Like, yeah, <laughs> no, sure. actually, we had this one song. Yeah. Actually, no, this is out. It's called Fall For Me. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of had this, like, idea. Her sure from I was like, I want her to do it. Yeah. yeah. I want her yeah. to do it. Yeah. When it comes to, like, um, short film music videos, mm-hmm. I'm real picky with the people I work with because yeah. I don't want to charge. Oh, like, really? I don't. Yeah. I like the creative freedom of it. So it's like. The way that I wanted, I want to make sure it's people that it's a collaboration. It's a collaboration. Yeah, because I'm like, I'm not doing it with everybody. That's exactly. That's something we yeah. start for. We don't like people to work for us. We want people to work with like us. Like unless you're right. like paying, you know? a, we're paying you. Exactly. Like yeah, we do want to pay something. Yeah. Fiverr, shout out Fiverr. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be on Fiverr all the time. With that, it's like I don't. That's the one thing when it comes down to like I've done it with that field records because those are my boys. Like mm-hmm. Sheldon was one of the first people that I did short films with. Yeah. So, so with cool. him, I was like, whatever you want, mm-hmm. like we can make it happen. So it's that's kind of how I've kept it. I'm like, I'm um, yeah. not really. I'm. I'll do this mm-hmm. with people that like enjoy it the same way that I do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. D- it, what What about like, you know, the song or like maybe the music gets you to like. It has. To, I had to. I have to see it. Mm. Like I have to see it in my head. You have okay. to see I have to like visualize. Like, yeah. is this cinematic or not? Because it's like, with zoned and with um, even code name. There's a song that I did with Sheldon. It was code name, and. I had I could see it in my head. Like when it comes down to writing or when it comes down to doing movies, I I before I write, I see it in my head. Like I see the pictures in my head and I see the movement in my head. So that's how I know if it's cinematic. And I gotta listen to it. Like sure. I, I gotta know it just as well as the artist. I have, I I have one more question. Mm-hmm. Cause we gotta wrap up like yeah, we do. Yeah. really soon, right? So I just wanna ask about Sampha. Uh, like what what what's up with that? Sampha Sampa. is I, I was put on to Sampha in twenty sixteen. Yeah. What was life. the first song you heard? Plastic. Oh, cool. Plastic. I love that song Plastic. so much. And um, it was 2016. Shout out my friend Jamal. He's also on film doing big things yeah. in L.A. Um, he put me on to Sampha, and I remember listening to it in the car, and I felt like the car was floating. I was so That's mind blown. That's how I felt. Sampha, Sampha has, like, these, like, too. small, like, small, like, projects with, like, minute-long songs. The first yeah. time I heard about him, heard of him was, like, um, I think it's Too Much with Drake. Yeah. And then I was like, let me just... 
tap in yeah. to him. And that, this was before 2016. I think I was younger than that. And I was like, this man's a gem. He's different. Like, he's different. You feel he's me? Different. He is so good. Yeah, different. he's different. And then when he dropped, um, I forgot his previous al- album before. This one he recently just dropped. I Lahai. What it What's it called? Lahai. Lahai. Yes. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Different. Dude, it's so crazy because I'm like, are we all making music on the same softwares? Like, right. this man is making music in like a, I read like a spaceship, yeah. bro. Like <laughs> some no, that's what alien, plastic sounds like. That's what plastic yeah. sounds like, yeah. for sure. And like, I think my first song I heard from him was without. Sorry, I'm basic. Yeah. But like, I was like, no, like there's no way this is like, like people be this producing this. Yeah. yeah. You're and not like, human. This is a human. Yeah. Like, how are these sounds? Like, what yeah. are these sounds? Yeah. yeah. Like, it, that, that no, was yeah. just so cool to Like, me. that's one of the great, that's probably the greatest album I've ever heard was processed. And, Oh my gosh! Like you know how people say music gets you through stuff. Yeah. yeah. That entire 2020, that's what I had. For music sure. does get you through stuff. For, for sure. sure. Music does mm-hmm. get you through stuff. I think like, I feel like most of like, the time you try to like, I don't know, because there's a lot of controversial artists, you know, mm-hmm. in the world. So people are like, oh, this song got me through this, but like, though he's canceled or like whatever. Yeah. You don't feel like that was Sam for though, like never. Yeah. Man, this is no, so true. I've seen Sam for twice, like in and person. And you just saw him, right? I, ju- I saw him in Atlanta, and then he came to Miami. I went to Atlanta because I thought he wasn't coming to Miami. Oh. And then he dropped the North American tour and came to Miami. I'll go That's again so and again and again. Like mm. I feel like Rain went there, too, for Sanford, He right? did. Our first, our first person we interviewed, like, they yeah. love Sanford as well. Yeah, he also went to Atlanta. To see Sanford. Yeah. Yeah. We were talking about it on the podcast. He's amazing, yeah. man. Like, that's a yeah. that's a gem. And then, like, I was reading an article. He's about to jump into his directing bag, too. That's oh, fine. Oh, yeah. He's about to do movies. He got to hit you up, right? Oh, Teach yeah. him a few like, things. Yeah, let me know. Like, <laughs> all right. I do think we have to wrap up. Yeah. So is there any last things you want to say to the camera or anything like that? Um, This was a great. Like we this love was you. awesome. Thank you, you for coming too. on. Yeah. This was great. I would definitely do it again. And, Yay. yeah, I'm glad that we, like, merged. Yeah, and hopefully me too. stays like that. emerge. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, We're gonna yeah, connect. Yeah. I'm gonna tap you in with the Sudanese, bro. Yeah. Everywhere, <laughs> globally. Um, the creative ones. The, oh creative yes, the ones. creative ones. <laughs> There's creative a lot more ones. than you think, you know. Yeah. I used to be like, where y'all at? But right, I, I'm finding some. Yeah. I'm finding some. That's fire. That's yeah. Fire. Do you wanna um, drop your IG and just any other information to the camera? Yeah, Sun of Africa. S U N O F A F R I C A A on Instagram. Yeah, if you go on my Instagram, you can just tap into everything from there. Mm-hmm. Keep updated with Hayati Film. That's also um, my other Instagram, but it's on my page. And yeah, mm-hmm. that's pretty much me. For sure, Bye. I'm Aster. I'm Rayanne. This was Trust the Process. We'll trust nobody. See you in two weeks.